That's right, it's me, Scripta. How you doing, folks? Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, giving Republic of China another go. Um, we're back to the start, to the very start. Nothing is done so far, and we're going to do it differently this time. So, let's start where we always start. Uh, you... No, all of you, please. You are going to rebase over there. And once you've done that... Take this territory and guard that. Like that. Don't do this. That's okay. Right, so that's the Air Force taken care of. You... Well... What we have to, right? Uh, convoy raiding should still get all the military ships. I guess we go search and destroy this time. Get me a commander. Give me those free skill points. Here, here, and also over there. I guess we do have to. Uh, maybe not for that little bit over there. I haven't tried that so far, so... I guess we can do without that. Shift right click. Thank you very much. Straight away. Then, all of our troops. You, get into an army. Get me a commander. Skill. I'm not sure if it's worth taking that. Or sticking with the 10%, but then getting the entrenchment bonus. I, I guess we take that. The entrenchment bonus sounds way better than anything else. All of you... Oh yeah, I should have kept you selected. All of you, go there. Half a battle plan. And that is going to be... Taking that. Entrench behind that river. See that you can march towards the, the capital of... Uh, what is it? Mengoku? Yes. If we can do that, if they won't move in here, we have sort of an ally over here. At least we have a block border which they can't march through. So that's that. 53 troops. You do need some training. Yeah, you do need a lot of training. All right. Training. We do have free factories. We need that a lot. I keep that there. Then, research-wise. Now, we still have some time to get all of this done. Let's see if we can get a bonus here somewhere. Army experience. Land doctrine. So we're going to start with land doctrine once we get there. We're not going to go fascist this time. It didn't work out for us at all. We're going to go this way. Armor technology, infantry technology. I take the infantry technology. I take another infantry technology. I take the dis uh, discovery rate. Exactly. Recovery rate and reinforce rate. And this we should be able to do instantly. Which is good. You know, we might just join the common turn and have a big war. That might help us out in the long term. We'll see. If we have to, we do so. It's just the way it is. We're going to do that just now? I think we're going to do that in a second. We want those factories first. Civilian. Military wars where? There. We need those. Um, but we also need to get the research going. Okay, let's start over here. 70 days. Let's get that going first. Uh, you... I'm going to train. Give you up to not being green, please. Although we really don't have the equipment, but eh, what can you do? Still have some time. We have free civilian factories, that's okay. We have insufficient resources for what? Oil? Yeah, for that one plane and rubber for that one plane. I... No. Can't do that. Really can't do that just now. Where are we gonna start? I'm gonna go down this way again. And we're gonna switch doctrines. This is okay. That's okay. It's also okay. Soft attack plus 20%, organization plus 10, 
defense plus 20. These three alone are way uh, are worth way more than these. If we can get this done fast, we should do that. So I'm gonna start this first one right now. We do get a bonus somewhere. That's one. There is two more. Hmm. No requirements in terms of factories, which is good. All of these are green currently, so we should be able to rush through here, not like last time. Uh, be stuck with doing something. So, okay, for the moment I'm not going to take that if I can get the 50% bonus. So forget about that. Reset. Um, we are going to take that. 165 days, alright. We get two or three bonus over here, so we should be able to do like these. Let's get that one knocked out as well. And when we get the factories, we are going to add artillery and all of that. So you're not doing anything, which means I'm going to get rid of you. It's just not worth it. Need that first. Good. And we're going to start recruiting. I'll take the regular ones here. Uh, you have no location set? Of course not. Yeah, you're going to deploy somewhere here. It doesn't matter. And you're going to go straight to that. Let's give it five. Actually, let's keep you on unlimited. Doesn't really matter. Like that. That seems good to me. So, then... Did a lot of stuff last time here with infrastructure and all of that. I'm gonna skip that completely. We're, we're good on infrastructure at the moment. That's something we can do later. It might actually be a good idea to get some forts up here, to just be able to hold that, not lose Beijing, possibly. We do have forts here, I might even station some troops directly in those ports, because it seems to be the ports they are attacking. If we can prevent that by just having like four garrison units in there or something, and a uh, big four, then I'm all about that. So, let's get this started. Behind the river would give us more defense, but then this we can't lose. So let's start there. Get that up to speed. That's a lot of areas to defend. Also, that's completely bollocks what I'm doing here. Don't need a land forward. Need these, right? Naval invasion combat, thank you. Like that. This is also a port they could try to invade, but then again we already have troops here, so what gives? Next thing is just that. There's a river here. I'd like to do just here. That's one province. We can attack from three. If we can have that, that would be nice. So I'm not going to fortify this for the moment. If they break through here in the end, then you can tell me... I've told you so. It takes a month. Alright, so we're building... Hmm, that's a year, two year, three year, four year, five years. Hmm. We get some more civilian factories soon. This will take some time. Definitely will. Um, when that is done... Straight into military factories. We need all the factories we can get. Gonna keep these free for dockyards. So we can build up our fleet afterward. I do realize that we won't get any of this done unless we can hold off the Japanese advancement. So, yeah. Let's see what we can do here. 
have a look at these troops. I'm gonna take you and you and you. I'm gonna put you on a fallback line. Actually, I'm gonna put you in a new army, and then I give you a fallback line. That didn't work. Right here. I'm gonna assign all of you there. Then, I'm gonna take the next ones. Three of them. It's not much to hold of an invasion, but with the fort and everything, that should actually do some good. Mm, again, new army. Did that work? Not really. Yeah, it does. It's not what I wanted. Thank you. There you go. Give me more. More garrison units. You, new army. Don't even know if we have enough troops for that. I guess we will find out fairly soon. Might have to reduce that size down to, I don't know, two units or something. Which won't really do us any good. Yeah, we will have to. Uh, new theater. This is coast. Like that. You, 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 and you. Uh, I will do all the icons and all of that off cam. You don't have to watch that, I think. Oh, there's some more. All right. That's it, right? That one, that one, that one is done. That, got those. This, there's an airfield there. This, that, and then we're up here. So you go back to those guys. And all of you join that. So it's we're down to 29 out of the 50 we had. Hmm. Only gonna call you. Just straight out. Japan room. Right. <laughs> so you are the main army. Gonna be red because red looks dangerous and that's what we're trying to be. And you need some training, not much, it's not that many green troops. Alright, you're gonna be that. All of you. Yeah, I guess we just keep you as you are. We don't have any commanders we can assign here, which, you know, we don't get any percentage bonus then, but, hmm, again, not much we can do. We need army experience or political power. It's political power, right? We want to recruit more. Yeah, political power. We don't have that. For a long time. So, the most important ports. Where did we get attacked last time? That's definitely over here. Control. Right-click. You get a field marshal with a good entrenchment. That's you. And the other one where we got attacked was over here. Right? Which one? No, it was down here first. One of these. This one here was attacked, right? That's you. Well, first one we did. We did that one. 
so you all of you will have to train until you're not green anymore can I get them higher than that I kind of forgot we'll see if not then we can just stop that okay so train as fast as you can uh, you deploy as fast as you can we don't need any more horses I think uh, they, they just they're not worth it Let's see no attack to speak of defense yeah it's, it's there gonna add some support artillery here soon also since we have that many men we could just straight up reinforce them and say you know what we want more but to have that done we need to have some army experience first which we get here so we're gonna do that and I think we're gonna redesign all our uh, garrison troops to be regular troops I think that's a good idea Can I please sort by type? Thank you. Also, the horses. You, 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 and you. And since these don't have a different icon, I don't know what's what. Awesome. So, all of you become... Okay, now I have to look it up. This is infantry. Can I change that name, please? Thank you. And give me a different icon. That's not worth it. Uh, you. As before. Renamed, doesn't cost us anything, it's fine. So, we have five divisions here and we have 24 here. If you could just click that to select them, that would be so good. Again here, shift, click and drag would be really nice. Or control, shift and then click the first one and the last one you wish to select would be so nice. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. you. All of you. Go infantry. Yes, please. Go away. Go infantry. Yes, please. Go away. Is that it? Alright, so now we do have infantry. Well, soon ish. Maybe. We'll see. Go. Um, maybe like that. So that wreaks havoc with our training status, of course, and all of that. Should be down quite a bit now. Yeah, 10,000. The number going up or down? It seems to be going down. 210 days. We can deal with that. That's not an issue. But we still need to start stockpiling here, so we do need more factories. Which we don't have. So, what is it that you think you're doing? You're not the Red Army. No, you're not. Everybody's going where they're supposed to go. Just half of them don't care. Can somebody explain that to me? Uh, which one? Wait a second. Did I miss somebody? No, everybody should be assigned, right? No, they're not. Interesting. That's those. Um, join the fight. Weird. Three, 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 three. Three and a three. Once we have more troops, we might extend this a little bit. Have them cover more than just that immediate area. But if the Japanese troops land like next to that province, we have an issue because nobody's defending that. But they won't get the port, so they run out of supplies very quickly. We just need to have some sort of a strike force set up. So that if they do, we can just keep the troops where they are and send somebody in to take care of those guys. And they're training. That looks so nice. <laughs> Getting there. 
Yeah, we pretty much lost all the good experience we had. But then again, there's not much you can do. We need them to train. We do have enough manpower, that's good. That again. Well, we do want to go communist. Still gonna do this. I don't really care about that manpower. The political power would hurt if we lose it. And there's a good chance that we either get 200 or 100. And there's a bad chance that we lose 100. And we just lost that. That's bad. I'm tempted to just save and try again. <laughs> oh, I think that's predetermined. Speed. Alright, not much happening. Well, why would it? We're not at war with anybody yet. That's going down quite fast. That's good. Ethiopia was annexed. Spanish Civil War hasn't broken out yet. Even if it did, there's nothing we can do. Rhineland remilitarized. Yeah, that was about, uh, supposed to happen, so okay. Now, can we do anything else over here that makes sense? We could lose a lot of political power again. There's more military factories. We do want those. Those four. All those. That's 105. That's 105. We get way more over here. Yeah, we're gonna go down here. We get those. And then we do all of the stuff over there to get communist support. So, let's do this. Of course, that does mean that currently we can't really accumulate political power to do anything. Let's see what we got this time. It's the same guys. Pretty much looks like it. Yeah, we're gonna take the three army people. Fill that up. Do want that one. You can put three people in here, right? So, one. Hmm. If you can't find anybody else, then that's the one you want. Two. And I get that one. Three. We don't need these. We have our national focus to change uh, our government. So that's those three. I think we get, need to get this going as soon as we can. Easiest way to turn communist. Easiest way without starting a war, or, well, having a war. So, what are you doing? Yeah, do all of this. Like, right here. Do, do all of this. Just don't worry about me, don't go there. Thank you. Now we're really down in political power. Doesn't seem to give you any malus or something. There's no downside of having no political power, except that you can't do anything. Good. See, you're not in line. If I could, I would declare war on you right now, so I, I can invade all of this. We surely have enough troops to do that. Uh, yep. Yeah. And once we've done that, it's just two provinces to get over there. Thank you. And uh, thank you. So, now we need to have this paused and have a look. This will just give us experience. This is the first land doctrine bonus. And then we get infantry technology one time, two times. And there we get the other land doctrine. Industry bonus, also good to have. 
Where did we have the land doctrine just now? There. And there. So these are our main focus because they give the biggest bonus. So we need to go down here. That's 70, 70, 70, 70, 70. That's okay. 70, 70. This is what we want to have done before the war starts. And since they take longer to research than the... Medium tank. There. Then the infantry technology. We might go down here first before we go here, but then just looking... No, the infantry technology is just over here. And over here. So we have those done first. Alright, so these two should be done, and then we can get into the doctrines really quickly. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. What are we going to do? It's too early for that. These are the two that we are going to get. I am I want to knock out one of them ahead of time. Sort of. So we can get this one. With the 50% bonus. Is that worth it? Actually, it's not really worth it. Because we still need to produce that, right? So if we can get just these two, that's fine with me. That means we're going to get you now. We're going to get factories for you pretty soon. And also you. That sounds good to me. I hate this. Really do. Anyway, there's nothing you can do against that. So, we do seem to have everything under control. This is going along nicely. I think 6 out of 10. It's perfect. Minus 15% for each 4 levels. So, 2 is 30. That means we're at minus 90%. Should we actually do more than that? I think that's good. Skip that. Yes, that's done. We go up to 6 total. That should be fine for now. That should definitely help us hold this. Including that all-important airfield here. Um, I do want to have... Naval fort over here. They do the same, right? Yeah, 15%. So minus 90% is good. As long as we have a presence there. Um, that's definitely fine. We could do one more than we had 105%. Yeah, let's do that. Something like this. This is micromanagement at its best. Uh, give me those first. Yeah, sort of. That should be fine. Alright. Well, we're done for today. That's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe for more, leave a comment if you feel like it, and don't forget to enjoy yourselves. See you soon.